So the FDA is up to its old tricks, considering banning the use of estriol, which is a naturally occurring compound of estrogen. And uh, the prompting for this came from a company called Wyeth Labs, which you may have heard of. They make uh, Premarin and Prempro, which is, they are both uh, synthetic hormones to uh, achieve the same purpose that uh, esterol could be used for. Uh, esterol has been used for many years in Europe and in Japan and really doesn't have many of the side effects that the synthetic estrogens have. So why would the F FDA be considering banning it? Could it be that uh, this is not a patentable uh, medicine to use for uh, estrogen therapy for women? Wyeth Labs is complaining to the FDA because this uh, esterol is not a uh, controlled substance or regulated uh, to the degree that uh, their components are and uh, you know they're losing money on it and that's what it comes down to. They'd rather have some synthetic crap put into your body than something that's naturally occurring that produces the same effect because they can charge substantially more for their product. You know, uh, there's a lot of things that the FDA you know doesn't want us to use and a lot of those are alternative medicines because uh, you know it's not because they're not safe because there really is very extreme tiny amount of uh, documented cases of natural therapies causing deaths where there are many many accounts of deaths and severe side effects from medications that are approved by the FDA and don't think that approved by the FDA means a pinch of crap anymore because basically they're looking at ways to speed up the process and get drugs approved as quickly as possible and they're not really so concerned with the side effects because the people who are running the FDA are people who just a few short years ago were big in the pharmaceutical companies. There's uh, you know, no surprise to people who are in the know, but to a lot of people out there, that might come as a total surprise. I'm gonna give a couple websites at the end of this uh, video that you can check out to verify what I'm saying, and you'll find you know, perhaps what will be shocking to you. Uh, it's pretty amazing to me when I found out about this stuff a few years ago and started really getting passionate about, you know, we need to figure out ways to treat ourselves and the FDA should be there to protect us, not to help the pharmaceutical companies make a lot of money.